have been bitten by the health bug, and this fitness craze is sending more and more people into the already jump-packed gyms. But what if there was a more exciting way to sweat the fat out? That's where pole dancing comes in. Polkats Manila is the country's premier group that teaches the art of pole dancing. It's dancing and exercising rolled into one. Christina D founded Polkats Manila way back in 2009 and started teaching pole dancing. Before when pole dancing was really new, no one really knew how to teach it here in the Philippines. So I kind of got injured a lot. Not anyone's fault, but just because no one really knew how. So that's why I said that we should study it. So we did. So me and my partner, then Myla, we went to Hong Kong to get our certification. And then continuously we still study here so that uh, the education we give our students keep getting better. Contrary to popular belief, pole dancing is not exclusive to just the skinny people, to the young ones, or even to girls, according to pole fitness instructor Emmanuel Devino Ignacio. Women and men of all shapes and sizes are welcome to join or attend pole class. It's not a hindrance. It actually parang makes you parang appreciate your body more. Eh. Some people nga when they come here, ang initial concern is yun nga yung parang medyo I'm on the heavy side. Kaya ko ba to? And then some people just end up enjoying it and actually embracing their body size. We already have mga plus sized women and men who are actually like on the intermediate level already. So you have to be at least 18. Pero Sky's the limit. As long as you can pull, you can walk, it's still fine. People with two left feet and not so fit bodies are very welcome to join the pole dancing classes. Just make sure to show up and stock up on patience. So check out these basic moves with your inner pole dancer. So one of the basic spins that we learn in pole dancing is called the fireman. So we will start with a half bracket grip. So that's the inner arm up above your head, outer arm across your chest. You want to pull away from the pole, face the pole for first timers, hook the outside leg, and then you just want to fall into the spin while bringing the other leg behind the pole and land on the balls of your feet. Now we will do a basic climb. This is how you get up on the pole. So you want to grab the pole above your head. Let's start with your right leg. Inner right knee, shin and top of foot on the pole. So the knee is pushing in, shin is pushing forward. And then you pull up a bit, outer leg goes in front of the pole, squeezing your knees together, and then using your butt, sit up. And there, that's your basic climb. So now you will do a seat. So you want to stand behind the pole, arm hold the pole, arms up. The leg is bent, crossing over. Now lift yourself up a bit, other leg crossing over the right leg, squeezing your thighs together. And now, if you're stable, you can release one hand. The progress here is very individual. So it depends on your physical state when you start. It depends on how much you practice. So, but yeah, everything can be done with practice. So the best thing for you is just to come to class and just train with us. Pole dancing makes tiring exercises way more fun, and before you know it, you'll be spinning your way into fitness. When I started pole dancing, I just started getting stronger. Now I'm much more flexible, reaching for my toes is easier. Carrying my nephew while playing with him is so much easier, because it's so much easier to carry him. So a better quality of life, I think. Constant practice of pole dancing, it helps um, uh, develop your upper body strength will develop flexibility and um, confidence and promotes good health.